If you're into science, you've probably heard of both Newton's and Einstein's theories of gravity. But did you know that there's so many more than that? In fact, there's dozens. Let's take a look. If you're looking for the most up-to-date physics, the place to go is the archive. It's a place where preprints are hosted. So I decided to go to the gravitation and quantum cosmology section and just start looking at titles to see what are the different theories of gravity that people are talking about. On today's list, the very first title mentions another theory of gravity, Brand's Dick gravity. What distinguishes BD gravity from Einstein's gravity is that in BD gravity, the gravitational constant G isn't constant, and instead it's allowed to vary and interact with and influence the curvature of spacetime. What's interesting about BD gravity is that with the correct choice of coupling constant, it is consistent with all current observations. Next down on the list is einstein gauss binet gravity, which is a modification to Einstein's general relativity by the addition of a so-called topological term. By adding a term of this type to the Einstein-Hilbert action, the metric field equations change ever so slightly. Gravitational waves still propagate exactly as they do in general relativity, but cosmological solutions behave slightly differently. In particular, those solutions match the solutions found via holographic approaches to cosmology. The same can be said for black hole solutions too. This makes EGB gravity an intriguing possibility that might be easier to quantize. Then there's teleparallel gravity, which interestingly was first proposed by Einstein as an attempt to incorporate electromagnetism into his theory of gravity. This idea was picked up later because it can actually be seen to be mathematically equivalent to Einstein's general relativity. However, the physics of the descriptions make it very different. In this theory, spacetime doesn't curve, but rather gravity acts via a legitimate force taking similar form as the Lorentz force law. And that's interesting because, again, this formulation might be easier to quantize than GR. If we keep scrolling, we'll find that we come across f of r gravity quite frequently. This is another generalization of Einstein's general relativity. Actually, it's an infinite family of such generalizations. The basic idea is that in the Einstein-Hilbert action, we typically just have r, the Ricci scalar, as the integrand. However, if we instead just have an arbitrary function of the Ricci scalar, we can change the dynamics of the system and see what new, possibly physical solutions might pop out. Depending on what the chosen function of r is, we can have theories of gravity with massive gravitons, theories that don't need dark energy to have an expanding universe, theories that have inflation, and more. It's a widely studied area because there's a lot of parameter space to explore. These are, in some sense, probably the most popular alternative theories of gravity around right now, but of course there's dozens more that occasionally get into the limelight, just like how cotton gravity did a year or so ago. The whole point of investigating alternative theories is to see if there's something that better explains the data than general relativity. In some sense, GR is the simplest theory that can capture all of the observations we have, but to do so requires adding additional structure like dark energy or dark matter. And if one can explain those away with a slightly more complicated theory, that's considered a theoretical virtue by some, and hence it's worth looking into. Now if you had to ask me, I would say GR is probably the right classical theory of gravity. But if the evidence changes, so will I.